we're very happy and we love each other and we love what we do and we love everything. And so it's hard to emote angst and piss and vinegar of the young man. But we felt that 20 years ago. everyone. I'm Katie Darrell. And now listen, because Shannon from Godsmack is here. Dude, I am so fired up to talk to you. What's up? I'm glad to be here. It's awesome. Listen, we've got a lot to cover. We're going to talk about uh, tours this summer. We're going to talk about festivals this summer. We're going to talk about the new album. But I need to, I need to ask you a kind of a personal question. Food. When you are out on the road and at festivals in particular, is there a go-to festival food item that you love? Yeah, I know it's weird, but I'm a hot dog dude. I am. I'll get the big chili dog, man. I'll walk right out in the festivals too. That's one advantage of being a drummer, you know, they don't recognize us. We're back behind them going like this. <laughs> so I'll walk right out and give me a, a, a big ass chili dog. All right, Shannon, let's get down to business here. Godsmack has a brand new album. It's, uh, it's your guys' eighth studio album. Drop it on me. Uh, do you have a favorite track? I do. Uh, Tony and I just, we've been rehearsing these songs. And, and so I, I feel like uh, Soul on Fire is my new favorite track. It makes me want to get my Camaro and just hit sixth gear, you know? It's one of those racers, man. Wait, hold on. Tell me about your Camaro because I'm a Camaro girl. I've got a baby blue with a white stripe, <laughs> 1979. What do you got? Oh my God, I got a 21. It looks like the Batmobile. It's all black, you know, that, that blacked out trick one, you know, Recaro racing seats. and. You have your music with Godsmack, but you have the blues band, you have other projects and other people that you've worked with. So I wanna kind of lead the witness here and talk about uh, the great festivals that you're signed up for this summer uh, from Danny Wimmer Presents. Uh, we've got Welcome to Rockville, that's down in Daytona in the beginning of May. And then towards the end of May, you've got Sonic Temple. I mean, you're gonna be playing in front of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people and they're and you're going to be competing with other big sounds. I mean, on these builds, we've got we've got Tool, we've got Kiss, we've got the Foo Fighters, Pantera, Alice Cooper, my friend. How do you guys plan to stand out and really leave your mark on the festivals this summer? Oh, man, we, we have uh, lots of uh, uh, known songs. So, yeah. you know, it's not like we have to try to like win our fans over at this you know age in our career uh but we do this fantastic like drum they, they call it a drum solo because sully plays drums really good too and so like we come out we had we face off you know and so that's kind of separates us from most of the other bands that don't have that and don't do that uh but also you know we have a new fresh new record so we'll have new songs so we'll be you know playing like we're 25 again. <laughs> I know uh, as the drummer and as, as a rock star, you probably don't have to take a lot of time reading the press releases, but well, this opening statement, okay, from, from, you know, your label is impressive. Listen to this. Godsmack has more top 10 rock songs than Foo Fighters or their hometown heroes, Aerosmith. I mean, come on, dude. Well, that's, that's just crazy. That's absurd. <laughs> it, it it is absurd, but isn't it so, um, isn't that kind of like a, you know, hey, mom and dad, look at me. Thanks for getting me those drum lessons and listening <laughs> to me bang into my bedroom when I was 10 years old type of accolade. That and thank you, radio. My God, you know, like, wow, talk about, we could have done it without that, you know? So mm -hmm. thank you, radio, and thanks, mom and dad, yeah. <laughs> is there a radio market uh, besides Boston? Because hometown heroes, I mean, of course, they're always going to love you. Uh, which radio markets have really been behind you from the get-go? Arizona, Phoenix, we've always done well. And Denver, Colorado, for some reason, we've always done well. Godsmack is um, a hardcore, heavy, great rock band. Do you sometimes feel the pressure to kind of keep up a... Um, I'm a really heavy, I'm a rock dude, I'm really tough mentality, or can you let your softer side be seen by the fans? Well, you know, that's a great question, Katie. And you know, it's a, this is our final album. You know, hard rock, heavy metal, punk rock, that, it's very aggressive music. And I feel like it's young, It's a young man's music. And, and, you know, we're all at an age now, we're very happy and we love each other and we love what we do and we love everything. And so it's hard to emote and, uh, you know, angst and piss and vinegar of the young man. But we felt that 20 years ago, you know. And so 
this record, you know, we, we luckily, well, I shouldn't say luckily, but things happened that uh, made Sully aggressive on certain songs. You know what I mean? Because that's what the songs are. They're parts of your life. You know what I mean? And so we feel like making records has always been something that is a challenge, is a lot of pressure. It's always been a chore to us, not necessarily the writing creation part of it, but the recording and then being in the machine and having to cycle tour and sell a product to, you know what I mean? And so we feel like our reward at the end of it, you know, we could go on like great bands like Judas Priest that you see that are still doing it into their 70s and all. And and dealing with, you know, the spiral that, that has to happen as a band gets over 20, 30 years, you know? And so we just felt like it would be a, a great time for us to do like Aerosmith did, in fact, and just stop making studio records and, and play all of our songs as long as we feel we can still emote that kind of angst and anger because we don't want to be a bunch of actors or posers up there trying to be, uh, like you said, tough guys or something. When we feel like, uh, you know, hippies now. <laughs> When at the end of the day, you're sitting around with your koi pond and looking at turtles. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's like, you know, and I tell everybody, you know, I got the gypsy blood and I always loved the to tour so much. All my life, I've toured since I was 15, you know. And and then the pandemic hit and I was forced to stay home and I didn't even know if I could deal with that. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden I was like, wow, this is kind of nice. And then I became a different person and found myself spiritually. And now, now I know I have to go on tour for two years and I'm kind of scared. Uh, Shannon, what does it feel like to know that you are, as a drummer, you are the heartbeat of the band. And so when you look out there and there are 100,000 people going like that, it is to your beat. It is rarely that they are going to the guitar solo. It is they are finding mm -hmm. you under the guitar solo or under anything and just moshing to your beat. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a incredible feeling that words can't really describe and you say a hundred thousand people sometimes just even in like a two or three thousand seat theater and as the drummer we're already 20 feet from the front of the stage you know and so you know uh, the energy of a crowd of like a hundred thousand at a big festival or something is completely different than this energy when you can look up and see people in the balcony space and then you see everybody's heads moving and you know that you're the heartbeat of that whole room. And it's really, it's really special. And it's something that, again, it's hard to put into words, how, how the energy transference occurs between the rock drummer and the, and the audience. That's awesome. Shannon, thank you so much for hanging out today. Everyone, make sure you go get the new Godsmack album. It is called Lighting Up the Sky and it totally kicks butt. Rock on, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. Hey there, thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is or who your favorite bands are and what artists you're into, or just say hi, man. I like to be told hi. We love hearing from you, that's the point, all right? Keep it coming.